Sunset, start of a very long weekend. Yeah, heading to the Highlands. See you when we get there. Starting to see snow. Cool, we're about 10 minutes from the cabin. Spring in Tassie. Stay here, okay? Better go unlock everything. You stay. First time seeing snow. Hey, oh yeah. <laughs> oh, best, best time. Hey, yeah. Oh, I'm bloody freezing. I'm gonna get my stuff. Okay, more chill inside. Things first, I'm gonna say hello to the guard. I'm the newest member of the guard. Thanks, guys. Did it. You sad are you? You want you want this? Okay. Get back. Stay there and lay. Stop being extra, play. Stay. Down. Go closer. Oh darling, it's not that bad. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm sorry for torturing you, girl. Hey, you're hungry. Hmm. You want me? Or do you want this beer? There you go. That's it. Here you go. Cool. You had a bit of a blizzard. You know, there's a nice hot fire inside. Hmm? Good girl. Come on, can you come? Inside. Come on, inside. No? Stay outside? Okay. They say there's a snowstorm, but I've got water alone to keep me warm. That's excellent. That would have taken me two runs. Well, it's taken us all of about 12 hours for an hour to realise that she's a snow dog because of roaring fire, nice warm house. She would rather hang out out here. Do you want to come inside now? Do you hear me talking? Okay. So, 
as we chill out here in front of the lovely warm fire, the blizzard in the background, might as well let you know why we're here. We want to try and fish Little Pine Lagoon and try and open up the trout account for the season after a lacklustre trip on Plimsoll. Someone could say it was a bit of a poopy trip. Anyway, because of the wildlife population up here, usually um, this little one just sends straight onto game and just takes off. Um, but we have a nice uh, fresh covering of snow up there, which will hopefully help slow that down, uh, which means I'll get to walk the shore and flick fly rod for a little while. So yeah, uh, bear with us and we'll try and get up there today and make something happen. I believe these just came out of the wash. There's more on me than what there is on you. Bah! Bah! <laughs> Good girl. Go. Hey, pull. Oh, pull. Yeah, get up. Good fox. They're rolling in shit today, all right? Let's give this a go. Here goes nothing. Beautiful. Not even any slipping. Awesome. Oh, off to Little Pine. Well, well, as you can see, the sun has started to burn off and warm everything up and the cars are helping, but um, this stuff's actually more dangerous to drive on than proper snow because it goes all slushy and um, creates ice. So if we get a refreeze, this, uh, this road will turn into a bit of a death trap. Anyway, keep on cruising. We'll be on the gravel here soon and then on our way to Little Pine. Well, this is a first. We are the only people fishing Little Pine today. What a great idea. This is awesome. Across that, no worries. Okay, let's go. It's on the trail. Go on. asks, why did you get that breed of dog? This is why. This right here. Where are you going? This way. What are you puffing your chest out at? Go downwind of that mountain and it might be a nice spot where a deer or a wallaby might lie to lay down. She's scented, and off she goes. Oh no, hey! That's a wombat, get away from it! Hey! It'll tear you to pieces. I'm sorry, mate. No, I just got right up in his back. I don't think she realized how dangerous the damn things are. Explains why you're puffing your chest out though. This way. Come on. Puppy school. It's all this. If you corner one of them, you know they'll kill you.
these tracks. Mix it fresh and old, going in both directions. There would be animals here watching us now. And we just wouldn't know they were there. Such a beautiful place. Same goes for trout. They can see quite well up under these areas. They're wily little critters. Pretty sure we're on a spot in the lake called the Untouchables Shore, so well done Brad. Great uh, great spot to pick to try and break the curse. Anyway, we carry on. I think I just spooked a fish. This is a dog food sample that I picked up at the pet shop, but she thinks wrapper equals treat, so get in the car. Oh my god. Yum. Oh! Wow, those frogs are just going nuts. Um, even though we're not fishing, we're sort of just enjoying being able to be out and about because uh, at the moment, um, this is September and New South Wales isn't doing so good. So look, if you've got any followers in New South Wales and thinking of you guys, like hang in there. But um, the feeling that once this thing comes back to Tassie, we'll be, we'll be locked up again. So we're just gonna have to keep working through and seeing the outdoors where we can. Well, back home. So of course she's gonna run away because freedom uh, being off the lead again. That's okay, we sort of know the area around here. Oh, oh, you want to hang around now. Too far away to see. Slow this morning, aren't we? Mm. We had some friends over last night and we had a late night. And those friends had a dog, didn't they? And you ran away and found a dead rabbit. And now I'm picking buzzies out of your fur. Look at all these things. You ready to go then? Hmm? Alright then, let's go. Completely different day. But as you can hopefully see out there, it's rough. So we're sticking a little bit closer to home today. There's a, uh, a dam not far from here or more of a pond, which is a good spot to practice with the fly rod. And as we all know from yesterday, I definitely need practice. So, Close up shop, and we'll go up there for a look. And you, I'm gonna be clipped to my belt. There we go. Where is it? See, guys, there's a collar under here somewhere. 
Not really a system where these hill climbs go. <laughs> That's better. This way. Stop. Sit. The wind up the butt. There we go. I love this place. Everyone waves. Everyone's happy to stop for a chat. Everyone will help you out. Like, it's just a real neighbourly community. Christmas beetles. That is so cool. No, back, back. He'll do nicely, won't he? All right, back up. Well, you did it. Come here. That's it. Had enough and he's down over the grass.
quite slabby. But... dog accessory has actually been really helpful it's going to teach you to heal yeah. you just want to go home don't you chill out by the fire we're out there was all this pulling when we were going up the hill huh it's supposed to be hill start assist dog Dun, 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 dun. Let's get that pull. Yeah. Bloody buzzies, hey? So annoying. Good girl. Well, probably here for the rest of the day, so it might be time to do a bit of prep and uh, get ready for a unorthodox way to cook uh, sausages. Stay tuned. All right, so just gonna show you guys what we're doing here. Spuds are just soaking, ready for mashed potatoes. Gonna do a little bit of a twist on those two. But this is the big one. We're gonna do bangers and mash, but a little bit different. So it doesn't really matter what sausages you get as long as they're thick. These were the only thick sausages in the supermarket at the time. A couple of old stale beers that you don't want uh, as well. Okay, now here's what we do. All right, gonna let them breathe few holes in them. Trust me, you want to do this because otherwise they will explode everywhere. In the pot. Okay, two goes in. Got to be enough to cover the snags. If it's not enough to cover the snags, top it up with water. Two beers will be fine. Ah, leave those to soak. You only want to bring your snags in your beer to like a simmer, not like a massive rolling boil. Just uh, just a gentle boil and then back it right off. Only need to be in there for 10 minutes once it's hot. Alright, spuds boiling away. Sausages have been simmering away for about five minutes. We'll uh, give them another five. Yes, I know that foamy stuff at the top looks disgusting. Don't worry, it goes away. The important thing to remember is you take your tongs, give them a couple of test clicks, make sure that they work. Okay, take these guys. Cool. Yeah, just cook them like normal sausages. Anyway, as for that, yeah, there's, there's no use for that. Sorry, beer. Oh, dog. Let's have a look. Yeah, they're starting to look good. Just click. Real marks, bud. Alright. Melt some butter down. Get some spinach on. What did you eat? Bit of spinach. Hey Nara, do you want spinach? Want spinach? You take? Oh, get them greens. Good girl. Pinch, steal, steal, and you'll get two. Steal. Okay. <laughs> Good girl. Oh, I have cooked way too many spuds. Oh. I did it. Oh yeah, they're beautiful. Right, a little bit of mustard into the spuds and we'll be gone. Okay, All right. better check on the spinach and... <sighs> yep, it happened again. Well, that ain't bad. Oh, not a Guinness, let's be honest. That'll do nicely. I haven't forgotten about you. I had a big treat for you. Yes, I do. This. Little grizzly. Wait. 
Okay, get into it. Hey, get into it. Good girl. What? Where are you taking? <laughs> You're not worried I'm going to steal it back off you. Good girl. Well, we'll keep an eye out for the deer and maybe give you some footage of that later. But um, as far as this adventure is concerned, I think this will be us. Thanks for tuning in. Give us a like and a subscribe if you if you want to. And um, if you'd like to see more of uh, like shack sessions, cabin sessions up at the Highlands and um, other weird adventures out here, drop something in the comments and uh, tell us where we should go visit next. Till next time, guys. Cheers.